background was I went through art school in the early 70s and then I became a shoemaker and made shoes for 30 years and then I gradually from shoemaking I kind of gravitated to making sculpture which is quite similar in its way and um, yeah I took up painting and but I live by the beach in Fremantle so I'm always picking up all the things in the winter for, and making little assemblages out of those and I think they just got bigger and bigger and then I found this boat in a skip bin and my partner couldn't stand me making a mess of it so he did the boat and the sails and I made the animals and we did it together. So. I found a piece that looked a bit like an owl from the shape of a, of a palm and I found these bits that were like um, wings so I steamed them into shape and curved them and then I carved the face and carved a little bit of bone for the um, beak and the eyes are all opened out some fine copper wires and then sewed it round and put the eyes in. And then this is the pith of the uh, palm as well, so I carved that and the legs are bound copper. And then the cat was, I have a black cat, so I copied the cat. And he is um, a wire armature and then foil and then he's got, um, I didn't quite know what I was doing, so I pieced together little bits of called knead it and like chewing gum and <laughs> put the wall on him but it's actually set it's a ep epoxy so I set that in there and then I didn't get time to finish the body so I just put a nice silk jacket that happens to belong to my sister <laughs> made her pretty annoyed um, around the body and then Tony did all this he cut it down it was an old kayak that was in a skip bin and we, I pulled it out and he cut it down at the front here and shaped it and uh, joined it all with copper wire and then epoxied it inside and put the mast on and he found these bits of uh, aluminium and pieced them together to look like a sail and he moulded this bit here and folded all the edges in and put the mast. So he's a sailor so he knew what he was doing. And um, yeah, and then we found some old wheels on a golf buggy and put them on and then they sailed off to sea. I entered Castaways because I really like the open show of it. You know, I like the fact that it's a lot of different people and it's, it's so funky and yet you get some absolute gems in it as well and it's not so precious as all the professional artists and I think because of that you get these wonderful things that, that show up in it that you probably wouldn't get at Cottesloe or, or you know, I love the little community down here. We've got a cottage down here, so I feel connected to the area. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I just think it's a lovely little show. One of my favourites. I'm very pleased to be on. As I said, when I received the prize, at last we eat. <laughs> because being an artist, it's very, um, you know, you sell a painting and then you wait for another month to sell another one. And sometimes it comes in lumps and not lumps. So there's always bills accumulating and things that you need. That, so it's not a steady income. Um, so I was very pleased to get it and then pleased to sell it as well. So, and uh, it's going to a good home, which I like. But um, I, it's lovely, I think it's a great prize and they have terrific prizes and it, it, it does encourage people to give it a go again. And you know, especially my partner's really interested now that we've won some money in helping me again. Mm -hmm. <laughs>